Hey guys, my name is Alvin from uh, Gridlock Information Security. Welcome back. So, uh, we already installed Splunk in our local machine here and we already have uploaded our local Windows event log, which is the security. So, now I'm showing you the uh, the interface here which uh, shows the event log for the security. Now, we're going to be creating a table for this one and then after that, we're going to be creating a dashboard out from this uh, search. So it's going to be simple and we're going to be making it uh, quick for you guys. So, so now I use the index asterisk to search all the index here and then using my own source which I uploaded Windows event log for the security event logs. And then what I'm going to trying to do is I'm going to search for my account which is gridlock. There you go, it's already cached in there. And then I'm gonna show it, and then I'm gonna be using all time here. So we find this. There you go, we got 129 data. As you can see from this left pane here, these are all interesting fields that we are uh, looking at. But for now, we're not gonna be searching uh, using all of this. We're gonna be using only a few of these fields from our search so what I'm going to do to select is I'm gonna put a table here and then first of all I'm gonna be using the table adding the time for this one which is very important for, for your reports and everything and uh, searching and uh, parsing of this event log so I'm gonna be using the table time and then use the account name the table to add my account name and then uh, the computer name where is the, uh, the machine that I'm logging in also the color station I'm gonna put the uh, computer name here there you go my search is already uh, cached here so I use time computer name, account name, event code, which is the Windows event codes, and the message for that uh, event, specific event code. So we're not going to be drilled down on each of the event codes, but because our topic is only for the uh, tabling these uh, event logs. So out from this, we're going to be uh, producing a dashboard where we can use this as a searching tool. So I'm going to be presenting this one to you guys. Uh, there you go, we already tabled our uh, search here, so as you can see, index were used, and then event security event log, and then I use the gridlock information security, which is my uh, ID. You can also specify account name equals gridlock information set, but since it's unique, I just use that as a single thing right there. So. So for this table, out from this table, we're going to be producing a dashboard panel for this. So you can click this on the right corner here, save as, there's a drop down, you can click dashboard panel. Then it will search you for the dashboard. So we're going to be putting a name for the, a title for the dashboard, which is uh, uh, Windows Search. Just a testing for this one. So you can private means where only the uh, have the permission to view it, but in the shared app, you can share it for all the people in the group on the, or all the users uh, configured on this block. So I'm gonna be saving that to all, then I'm gonna be viewing my dashboard here. Then after which uh, it will create a dashboard for us. And then from that dashboard, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be creating a customized thing which we can use the uh, search button, search uh, something like a text uh, text word search input text, and then we're gonna be using the search button and then the date and format so we can use that. So let's see. Wait for it. Uh, it takes it takes longer, but but. Uh, Ah, 
As you can see here is the output is the one that we search. However, we want to put something like a different thing. We, we want to put something like an input format on this one. So we're going to be editing here. So we're going to be edit. Click the edit and then add a... Uh, oh, not the panel, sorry. Add input, which is the... Uh, which is the text one. It's on the top. There we go, and then add the uh, submit. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna be putting the uh, time first. This is very important. And then uh, submit. So what we need to edit here, as you can see, there is a field one, right? If you edit this one, you will see the uh, token. That's the one that we're gonna be using for the. Uh, for the customized search here from our search field. So we're gonna be copying that one field one. Oops, sorry. There we go. Okay. Let's copy that one. Uh, let's close it. There we go. Edit search. So I'm going to be editing the search. Okay, we're going to be removing the gridlock information, infosec, which is my ID. I'm going to be using that. Uh, then I'm going to be calling the field here. That is the uh, caller, something like the parameter for that part. So from this search, we're going to be searching any field any ID which is being inputted on the input box here. So to call that, you're going to be using the dollar information, the dollar uh, key here from the beginning and the end. So the rest, we're going to be leaving at the same. But for the some fields here, you see, yeah, no, at the top and side, this time picker all the time then no this one is the field too which so I'm gonna be using time picker probably she should be okay but we're gonna be configuring later on so we're gonna be a click apply so as you click apply that see it's searching for search is waiting for an input meaning it has something that it's waiting for the for the command what you can type in here then from this one we're gonna be using the default format since our event log uses all the time we're gonna be putting that all time so so should be okay now and uh, let's see let's save it see if it works Okay, there you go. Read log info set. Then all time, hit submit. There you go, guys. So our search is successful now and uh, this doesn't limit you from creating more fields or adding more fields from this uh, search. So you can add more which is more interesting to you. But for now, for this event logs, based on my experience, this is one of the most important things. So you get the event code here, you get the message, what's the meaning of that event code, and then uh, you get the details here for the callers and everything. You get the account ID here, which is, and then you get the source computer where you're logging in, where you're getting the logs from, and you get the time as well. So that's all for guys. So for this one, uh, you can also do some exporting here. You can export that in a PDF format or you can print it. That's all guys and uh, I hope you learned something and uh, I'll try to produce more short tutorials for you and see the progress. And uh, pretty much Splunk is really good and I like doing some short tutorials for this one. 
I'm sure there's a lot in the uh, YouTube or in the internet, but this one I wanted to show you uh, the easiest way that I find this useful. So thank you guys and have a good day. Bye.